hear the words Chongqing mansions, and you're probably picturing these dreamy scenes in your mind. Many think it's a hotbed for crime, mostly because of what they've seen in movies. But did you know the building is also a food paradise in Hong Kong? There are different kinds of cuisines that you can find here. You can find Nepalese food here. There are some Sri Lankan snacks. You've got the Malaysian restaurants. You see some Turkish dishes as well. China and its cuisine are incredibly diverse. We travel from city to city to uncover the local food scene and meet the people behind it. This is City Bites. This time, we'll go to Hong Kong. In Hong Kong, you can find any type of food you're thinking of. And there is no better place than Chongqing Mansions to experience such diversity. Here, it's like traveling to a different country at every corner. The complex in Tim Sao Choi was built in 1961 to house both retailers and residents. Now, it's home to people from over 120 countries. My name is Innocent. I'm Tanga. I'm from Zimbabwe. Uh, I came to Hong Kong in 2013. Um, as a refugee. From everybody I was meeting was saying I should go and stay in Chongqing Mansions. But once I came, it's provided really a sense of uh, uh, safety for me. When I'm in Chongqing Mansions, I don't feel very judged. You know, I feel at ease. You know, people uh, are very warm, very kind, um, and honestly interested in other people. Chongqing Mansions is located in downtown Hong Kong. So it's no surprise it soon became the place for guest houses and restaurants. Rent in Chongqing mansions is still affordable today, so many foreigners and businesses like to hang out or set up shops here. The reason Chongqing mansions has become such a global hub for food is largely because they are all people from different places. There's the level of authenticity that you don't usually find in certain, in certain parts of international cuisine. For example, the continent of Africa, uh, which is like Ghana, Nigeria, African food is healthy, it's tasty. Everybody likes to eat it. Yeah, my name is S, and I've been in Hong Kong for the past 20 years. When I came to Hong Kong, I was very young, and there was no job for me. I wasn't accepted in some places, so I decided to use my talent as a cook. The only place to find Africans is in Chunky Mansions. We have some spices and some vegetables that we use in Ghana. Yeah, so that is the only place I can find them. So why not bring in my idea to this place? In Africa, we think that spicy food is good for health. But there are something inside like ginger, garlic, onions, and pepper. They keep you warm. Soup is very popular among Africans. And they love to cook it for anyone who's sick or hungover. Their soup is usually made with fresh meat, seafood, and vegetables. You wash your fish, you cut it, and then you steam. A seasoning mix with salt and, you know, we have special spices from Africa for fish. Tomato, onions, garlic, ginger, pepper. If you like more chili, you add more chili. So anything you want to add as vegetables or spices, you blend them. Put it on your seasoned fish. So how should we eat it? So this is light soup, fit light soup. Can be, it can be eaten with rice or it can be eaten with Mm -hmm. Or oh, you can just drink it. Mm. Tilapia fish. That is tilapia fish. Yeah. Africans will love tilapia, tilapia fish. Yeah, yeah. Tilapia <laughs> and Africans, you cannot separate us. Yes. It's, let's say you taste food from Ghana locals, you don't miss home because everything is here. <laughs> so true, the food and the garments I'm wearing there also introducing African to Hong Kong people. 
And then if you go, let's say Indian cuisine, you know, you'd find these different cuisine from the curries in the north, you know, to the more southern dishes. Hello, I'm Jack here. In 1969, I came to Hong Kong. Because my father was doing business here. So we were studying here, we were in Hong Kong. Hong Kong is my home. My whole world is here. We were in 1987. We opened a restaurant. So this one is in 2015. The food is the best food from Hong Kong. And then we have to dip with the water. What's in the water? Yes, mint, mint water. You eat the whole one. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. We have a lot of food. 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 装落个水嗰度啦，因为咧太热啦，降温到温度啦，摆啲牛奶落去啦。诶，我哋有十种 spice 都摆晒落去嘅 ，curry powder 啦，盐西粉啦，跟住咧系呢个茄汁酱啦，自己整嘅，跟住就摆啲 cream 落去啦。整熟佢啫，跟住咧攞出嚟啦，再擺放啲 cream 落去啦，就好睇啲啦。入口咧都好味啲咯。呢個唔係呢個疫情發生咧，我哋都冇諗過話香港人會嚟我呢間餐廳食飯嘅。好多人咧以為真係殺打打殺殺。放火啊，搶嘢啊，根本冇呢啲嘢嘅。咁咧，依家香港人嚟，我都好歡迎佢哋嚟啦。同埋喺樓下，我都接佢哋上嚟啦。香港咧，啲人咧唔食得咁辣嘅。咁我哋呢間餐廳咧，係整咗啲菜咧，啱香港口味嘅，辣度咧係減咗一度咁啊。所以好多香港人嚟食完咧，都會覺得好食，同埋咧唔係辣。係啊，好多人都有同我哋影相啦，大家 keep 嗰個 touch 啦，咁啊上嚟啦食飯啦，介紹啲朋友過嚟食飯啦。But right now everybody call me mama because I'm feeding, you know, I sell food, you know. In Africa, somebody who gives you food is your mother. I don't know whether I'm old or young, so I think I'm really connected. Chunky Mansions is definitely a bridge, you know, for a lot of a lot of Hong Kong people. Because if anything, this is a bridge for them and the world. And food is really, truly a universal language. There is no pretentiousness here. It's definitely beyond the taste. It's experiencing the culture, experiencing the wholeness of the person who is just there, openly willing to really offer you their culture, to give you their culture and to experience it. Hi everyone, this is Angie again. Some of you may wonder why I chose to cover Chongqing Mansions in this series because it's out of Hong Kong cuisine. But I think that diversity is also an iconic character when it comes to the cuisine here. And it's very interesting and heartwarming to see how food can actually open up people's mind and break the walls between different ethnicities. So if you guys also have stories about how food introduced you to a different culture, please share with me in the comments. Next on City Bites, we'll show you how to order cart noodles like a pro. Stay tuned. <laughs>